that the shape should be here rectangle but violet color is becoming the color of the circle inside so it's coming inside this is coming here inside and so violet is inside since so it should we should have a a box with the circle which is the inner circle which should be white because this is the outer color which is white the outer color is becoming the inner color the color of outer shape is becoming the color of the inner shape you see and as we said two two squares one hexagon then one square here one x means there is a square here so let's find a square with a white circle so let's see square with a white circle this is a square with a white circle and this is a square with a white circle so all these are out so now which one of these two will come here square with a white circle so square with a white circle okay so the outer color will become the inner color of the next the color of the next circle will become so this is f you see because f is violet so this violet color color will come inside here so f is the correct answer here that's it so let's see this question now uh, which one of these shapes below will come at this place next so we see here we have a circle then we have a triangle we have a square we have a okay this is very very easy we can see that this shape has no side it has three sides has four sides this one has five sides so obviously we need a picture a figure with five six sides one two three four five six either this one or one two three four five six either this one these two are excluded now we see the inner shape we have this arrow going down then coming up then coming again up and then coming on this side so it's like an anti-clockwise movement then it should be again down like this so this is again on this this one is down so we have this shape as the correct one at this place yeah that's it was simple so we just simply see the shapes how the shapes are changing you know their sides were increasing and then we see the inner shape and then we find out the combination there was a movement of more anti-clockwise movement in the inner shape you know as i said you have to see the shapes the colors and the movement in the shapes you know anti-clockwise clockwise movements you know or their relative positions okay now let's see this sequence we have this shape half black half white and then it's going down like this it's going up and this one is going down here so it seems like there is this 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 there is a pattern of the sh pattern of shapes how we have to see which shape which one of these shapes will will come next i think this is quite similar quite quite easy this shape will come no sorry this shape the third one is the right answer because you say this one is here at let's say 45 this one is here at let's say somewhere in between 15 or 30 this one is at let's say 12 this one is between 45 and 30 so the next one should be the difference should be this one the next one should be this because the difference between let's say the difference is like you know it's almost uh, 20 something is the difference you know in in the angle because this is 45 this is not 30 but maybe 20 or 25 you know let's say it is 20 
this one is then 12.5. 